Hey, Pixel Nation, what's going on? I'm here with uh, Money Making Guide number two, and it is Clue Scrolls. Um, I'm currently legging it. I decided I should probably show you guys where I got the Clue Scroll. Um, I'm legging it back to the Minotaurs in uh, Barbarian Village. The Barbarians are actually really good for training on them too, but uh, I don't know, I just for some reason like doing the Minotaurs. Barbarians might even be better, but uh, doesn't matter. My, oh, oops. I My advice for uh, this video for your second skill to train is range uh, or strength or whatever you want some sort of combat skill um, the reason I actually choose minotaurs over barbarians is uh, because I don't well you don't really get as good of loot from barbarians minotaurs for example <clears throat> excuse me uh, minotaurs will drop as you can see here uh, tin ore, copper ore, pure essence, uh, it's all noted stuff, so it's really good because you can, well, you can just stay here f literally forever. They drop food also, so uh, when I was doing these before, I made over a mil in a day uh, doing clue scrolls at Minotaurs here. Uh, I did get a Zami page in there, though, and I did get two Zami pages in the two days that I did, them, did Minotaurs, so I don't know, that might have been really lucky, but even without that, I was averaging out, like, a, a good... Well, a good chunk of XP and a really good um, uh, actual like return on my money because pure essence, tin ore, copper ore, like depends on how lazy you are. If you want to smelt it into bronze bars, it's worth a lot more. Uh, you can get halves of keys there, which is 45k for that one. Um, you can get gems there and you get iron arrows as well. That's why one reason why I said you, it's a good place to train range. Um, and I'm going to mention once again, because people were just hounding on me on the last video, I realize these are not the most profitable me profitable methods out there, but they are methods where you can train skills like magic or range that are normally expensive for you to train, but I'm showing you a way that you can do it and still make money doing it at the same time. Um, so I got this clue here, and I'm going to go do it quickly, and then I'm going to show you guys a couple other, or maybe not necessarily show you, because I don't really have the greatest pictures of my clue scrolls, but kind of just say some of the things that I've got from clue scrolls in the little bit that I've done them. And uh, then we'll conclude the video. So, yeah, um, I guess going back to tin ore and copper ore and all that kind of stuff, uh, it, it does kind of add up. Like, if you if you look in my bank from doing this, I've have, I have 170 copper, 165 tin. Like, that right there is... I think 20k right there which I mean it's not obviously not the most I I sold a bunch of my pure s before but I had like 4k pure s which ends up being like 12k I think or something like that so it does it, it makes you a bit of money on the side plus you can get really lucky with clue scrolls and make a ton of money like 400k and when I was doing them before I averaged it out and it ended up being uh, approximately one clue scroll you could I would get one clue scroll in every single load that I would do uh, with a full load of lobsters, so uh, I mean it's it's a pretty good money making method, uh, in my opinion, anyways. But it it really does kind of depend as well on how lucky you get. Uh, so this clue was to go to Al Carid. Um, if you guys need like a guide on clues, uh, go onto the RS Wiki or. Uh, RSBNB or Rune HQ or whatever. Like, I'm not gonna post those. Uh, you can, you get, you guys can figure them out. They're not that hard, really. Uh, we're gonna teleport to Alcarid here, and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how quickly these clues can really be done if you actually, once you've done a few of them. Like, I didn't go study this or anything. I just learned them as I went and kind of memorized them and now you just they go they go quite quick they only take a few minutes unless you get a really brutal one but talk to yuri are you one no i'm not one of the eggmen Ooh, he's giving me a casket and this would be uh damn i was gonna say that'd be awesome if i just got it search the drawers in the shop above varrock uh i forget what shop this is i think it's hmm drawers in the in a shop in Varrock. I cannot remember if it's this shop or one down here. I think it might be one down there. Um, but, well, oh no, actually I'm pretty sure it's these ones. Yeah. 
speak to Doric, who's north of Falador. Oh, did I not bring a water rune like a noob? Like a noob. Telly to be a cheap. Oh, no, even faster Telly to save running. Castle Wars. That's how lazy I get sometimes. Deal with it. But like I said, I was going for speed. I should have timed this. I should have stopwatched it. Um, where is there? They are water ruins. Falador. Sprint it. Leg it up to Doric here. Somebody, somebody at home can tell me what my time was on this. And uh, if you guys do, do do this, uh, let me know. Like, cause. I don't really know if I just got super lucky with clues, but I did like like maybe 15 clues and I got probably a mil and a half, so I averaged out to like 100k a clue. Uh, I got like some black G stuff, I got some other stuff like that. Um, one sec. But yeah, anyways, I, I got a bunch of other stuff. Like it, it averaged out to about 100k, so let me know what you guys get as clue rewards if you do, if you do try this out. Um, obviously sometimes you can get burned like I just did with a coif staff of air and uh, five blue fire lighters but I mean the staff of air is like 1k um, I need a coif for ranged anyways I'll make it work and I'm gonna head back to minotaurs and go get some more clues so uh, leave some comments in the uh, video below like I said uh, I'm not gonna actually show any videos or any pictures cuz screw it uh, I got, I've gotten some Gothix pages before, I've got some Zami pages, uh, I've got some Black G, uh, some like Red Ellie, which is like worth like 10k, some Black H stuff, it, it, it ends up averaging out to like I said, for me personally about 100k an hour, um, but yeah, anyways, you guys can leave a comment below and let me know if you guys make any good money with this method and, or if I'm just really, really lucky and, uh, I just posted a terrible method. You guys could let me know. But anyways, until next time, remember guys, just pixels. Cheers.